Welcome back to World Drum Club, everyone. I am Kalani Das, your host and teacher. And what do I have here besides a rain stick and a shaker? Um, I want to show you guys the mural that's on here in a second. But I wanted to talk about um, homemade instruments, handmade instruments. Now is a time where we're all staying in as of the making of this video. This is during the COVID-19 outbreak. Uh, it's April 2020. And we're all staying in a lot more than usual, maybe a lot more than we'd like. But there are things that we can do to be productive and stay connected. And it's super important to do that for your mental health and your well-being, but also for, you know, your musical life that you value, obviously, because you're watching this video. So I want to talk about what you can do. Um, I'm going to talk about how to play rain stick a little bit in this video, because that's something I haven't talked about, but something that I do pay attention to, because there is a technique, believe it or not, for even playing something like rain stick. But I wanted to share with you uh, this particular rain stick, and there's a few reasons. One is, I think it's nice. It, it sounds great. Um, it's kind of a handmade, you know, it's kind of a one-off. I've never seen another rain stick exactly like this. It's basically a wooden box, and I'll be showing you some close-ups as I'm talking about this. Um, it's just a wooden box, a few pieces of wood. Uh, on the back, you can see where they've nailed put in little uh, like finishing nails or what we call brads, um, very tiny nails. And then on the front is a mural. And I'll show you a close up of this. And it's really hilarious because it's, it's basically carved into this piece of wood. I mean, somebody spent a lot of time and energy making this, which is another aspect of why I want to talk about this. And that is crafting, being a craft person and making some instruments. I just uh, created a video on how you guys can make those um, shakers, really nice shakers, out of those Yakult bottles. So recycling, making a shaker. You don't need any fancy tools or anything. Just You can make it at home. But I want you to look at this, this mural. It's a, uh, like a peanut. It's like a Charlie Brown mural. And it's, <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's because it's like a, I don't know, sort of a Halloween thing. I don't know. There's a spider and there's... Lucy and and uh, Snoopy, and then there's a tree stump over here. It's just very interesting. I don't know what the story is. Maybe you guys can leave a story below in the comments and tell us what you think this all means. Um, and then on the back, there's even this little rope, like a little loop, and another rope. <laughs> what does it all mean? But I guess this is where you could hang it right? Hang it on the wall. Uh, and, uh, you know, when you're done looking at it as a piece of art, take it down and play it. Let me talk about how to play rain stick real quick. And I know this might seem like a benign topic or a topic that doesn't need to be a topic for some of you. But, you know, every percussion instrument uh, has a spectrum or a continuum of techniques that you can apply. And that starts with just the pick it up and shake it kind of thing, like a like a child would do, right? Just pick it up and ah, and just kind of make a sound with it. Two, all the way up to very subtle and very musical techniques, right? Just because you're playing an instrument doesn't necessarily mean you're making the most musical sound. I mean, every sound's musical, but as a musician, right? My job is to take something that could be very rough around the edges, very just like a blobby in terms of sound, and and create music out of it. You know, once I was lucky enough to host the famous and infamous uh, Afro-Cuban rumba gr group Los Papines in my house. This is back in the like early 1990s, I think. And um, they said something I'll never forget, and it's absolutely true, and they weren't bragging. They said, you know, we could play we could pick up and play on trash cans and people will dance because we're not just playing instruments, we're playing music. All right, and, and that is absolutely true. So it doesn't matter what you're playing, it, it's more about how you play it, all right? So when I play rain stick, for example, um, one of the ways I get more sound out of, a, out of a shorter rain stick is to slowly rotate it. Right? Instead of just going like this. 
you know, which is fine. There's no, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you wanted, say, to have a longer, more gradual, sustained rain sound, make sure, make sure you get all the filling to one end, and then slowly. You can even give it a little, give it a little shake. So the point is every instrument, first of all, every instrument you pick up, no matter what it is, will teach you how to play it. That's true. Every instrument will teach you how to play it. What do I mean by that? Every instrument gives you feedback. Whenever you handle something, whenever you strum a guitar, blow into a flute, pick up a drum, you know, pick up a hand percussion instrument and you start to experiment with it, it's giving you feedback in the form of sound and, and vibrations and effects, you know, timbre, volume, all the elements of music. And it's your job to learn from that feedback. When I manipulate something, even like a rain stick, when I impose some technique uh, on an instrument, what do I get back? And then as a musician, our job is to, well, as musicians, our job is to evaluate that, assess it, and decide, hmm, what can I do with that? Do I like that? Do I want to do more of that? Do I not like this effect? Do I want to do less of that? How can I change my technique to move more in a direction that I want to move as a musician? And that's really what being a musician is. Um, so it's always assessing, asking, what is the musical choice in this moment? How can I play this instrument? Uh, to get the effect that I want. And that's the other point that we can take away from this lesson is that you don't have to play the way other people play. You don't have to make the same music other people make. Um, you don't have to get into those conversations about, oh, well, that's the traditional way. That's the right way. That's the wrong way. You should play it like the famous people play it. You should play it like this person or that person. You, you can have those discussions. There's nothing wrong with having discussions or even debating. But at the end of the day, you're the musician. You know, when, when you're playing an instrument, you're making the choices. And you should make the choices that you want to make based on your own impulses and urges and feelings and artistic, um, you know, aesthetic. Whatever you think is the best thing, all right? So don't worry about what other people say. Especially if you publish anything online or you publish, you know, music, there's always going to be critics. That's okay, too you know, to each his own. All right, so what's the takeaway? Maybe you can make something at home during these times or, or after these times. <laughs> um, you know, get out, get some craft stuff out, go to the hardware store, find some things that you can make some instruments from and, um, and enjoy that process. Decorate them, tell a story, or, you know, maybe have a friend decorate it and then you can build an instrument together. Uh, if you're a parent, have your child, you know, make a rain stick and have your child decorate it. That is a wonderful keepsake. Um, make a make an instrument and give it to a friend after you sterilize it. Um, you know, there's all sorts of things that we can do to connect, to um, express ourselves, to be creative, and support one another through music. And then enjoy playing your instrument. You know, make some music for other people. Um, make some instruments that you can take camping or take to a friend's house or go play music for a retirement community, for our older adults or people in a hospital. Um, talk to me about how to, how to do that in a way that's safe and, uh, and respectful. And, um, but you can go be of service to people, take your music to all sorts of different settings and bring joy and bring happiness and sense of community to people all over. Um, as appropriate, all right? So that's it. So your mission here, what does this mural mean? What's going on with that? If you've got any suggestions for homemade instruments, you can leave them down in the comments. Uh, you've got also the idea of musicality. Whenever you play an instrument, constantly evaluating and assessing and, and getting that feedback from that instrument and letting that instrument teach you how to play it the best way. Uh, possible for you and make the music that you want to make. All right. 
that's what I have for you in this lesson. I hope you've enjoyed this. And um, we just had a lot of rain, so I'm not necessarily playing this to get more rain, but maybe to honor the rain that we just had. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. This is World Drum Club. I'm Kalani Das. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you all in a future lesson.